Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a budget guitar shootout lined up for you guys. We've got the Squire Affinity versus the Donner Standard Series, both affordable, high quality starter guitars. So what we're gonna do is a side-by-side -side feature comparison followed by a tone comparison. We're gonna give points for the winners in each category and we'll crown the champion at the end of the video. All right, so let's start with our side-by-side -side feature comparison and then we'll do our tone shootout. Now, what we're gonna do is look at each area of the guitar, headstock, neck, body, electronics, hardware, and I'm gonna give points to whichever guitar I think is built better or maybe has better features, that kind of thing. So here we go, let's start with the Squire. Let's kick things off with the Squire Affinity. Now, if you're not sure if you have one or not, check the very, very small writing on the tip of the headstock. If it says Affinity, well, then you know. Now, in terms of the features on this guitar, very basic as you'd expect for a budget guitar. Now, we've got six inline tuning machines. They're all the same height, which means we do need two string trees. A little bit of a shame. It just adds, you know, extra friction points there, uh, but it is what it is. Now, on the back side, you can see unbranded tuners. I've got to say they do feel okay. They're not terrible, but a lot of people do upgrade the tuning machines on budget guitars because they are an area that, you know, I think brands kind of uh, save a little bit of money by putting in, you know, sort of very basic tuning machines. Nice satin finish on the whole headstock, which is great. When we look at the finer details, uh, the truss rod cavity there, pretty nice. You know, it's pretty clean, got to say, that's great. And when we look at the nut, it is just plastic as again, you would expect in this price range, but it's pretty clean. So overall, you know, a pretty good headstock design. Let's take a look at the Donner. So here's a look at the Donner headstock. And the first thing you might notice is, well, it's a different shape. Obviously, you know, Fender slash Squire have theirs trademarked. So we've got a slightly different cut to the shape. I've got to say, uh, overall, I really like the shape of this headstock. So that's great. Uh, when we look at the logo, well, I think a straight Squire maybe looks a little bit more classic and and the Donner with the, the music note maybe isn't my favorite logo. It's okay though. Um, in terms of the features though, which is what we really care about, um, very, very similar. So we've got six inline tuning machines, all the same height, two string trees. So same kind of setup when we look on the back. Uh, these ones are Donner branded. And when I, you know, use them, I think the, the squires are a little bit tighter and feel a little bit nicer. So again, you know, while these are serviceable, I think the squire does take it in terms of the feel of the, the tuning machines, but these ones are okay. You know, as I mentioned, a lot of people replace them on budget guitars. Um, but I think in terms of the feel of the, the tuning machines, in terms of like the play, how loose they are, all that kind of stuff, uh, the Squire probably takes that. Now, when we look at the rest of the details on the headstock, uh, the truss rod cavity cover, again, super clean for a budget guitar, looks absolutely fantastic. Um, in terms of the nut, very similar to the Squire, they're both plastic. And when we take a close up look at it, uh, again, very nice. So I'm, I'm pleased with both of these guitars in terms of how the nut is cut, um, how it's, it meets up on the shoulders of the fingerboard, all that kind of stuff. It's all very, very nice. So let's talk about who takes the win. So both guitars are very similar based on quality control and features. Uh, the Squire takes the win on this one though, based on slightly better tuning machines. Let's go on to the next. All right, let's start with the Donner and take a look at the neck. Now, as you can see, there's no skunk stripe on the back. It's just the straight maple. I gotta say the finish on this neck is wonderful. It's satin to the point of almost being unfinished. It's just very, very smooth, very playable. So I love that. We've got a rosewood fingerboard here. Uh, all the construction, you know, the seam between here and everything looks absolutely wonderful. Just really, really well made and very, very playable. Now, the next area we wanna look on the neck is the fretwork. This is very, very important. So let's take a look up high where budget guitars tend to, you know, not have a ton of detail up there. And when we look at the Donner, well, they all look fantastic. And in fact, the fretwork on this, as I mentioned in my individual Donner review, one of the nicest for a budget guitar. Very, very nice fretwork, nicely rounded and contoured. Um, yeah, just feels really great to play. Slight grittiness on the front face, um, but not as bad as some other budget brands. So the front face is good, the fret ends are good, and the construction on the neck is very nice. So this is a great neck for a budget guitar. Now as for the Squire, as you can see, we've got a skunk stripe on the back of the neck, just a different construction or a different way to get the truss rod in. 
Either way is totally fine. We also have a maple neck and a nice satin finish. Now I do have to say playing them back to back, the Squire is a little stickier. Uh, as I mentioned on that Donner, the, the finish is almost invisible. It's very, very smooth and comfortable. This one's also great, uh, but just a little stickier. Now when we look at uh, the Rosewood fingerboard, the way it's you know made it up to the maple again is just perfect. Great for a budget guitar. You know, no lip, no, you know, gap or anything, no filler. It all just looks awesome. And when we look at the fretwork up high, well, it's still pretty good for a budget guitar. I've seen much worse on more expensive guitars, um, but the Donner is a little bit nicer. Uh, you know, the Squires are rounded a little bit, but the, the Donners are really nicely polished and they're sort of uh, contoured in more dimensions, if I can say it that way, than the Squire. The Squire is just kind of quickly rounded off um, and on the Donner, it looks a little bit better. So just like headstock versus headstock, the neck versus neck is very similar, both really well made, very playable, uh, great for budget guitars. You can't really go wrong with either. I'm giving the nod to Donner based on the back of the finish. It's just a little smoother and the fretwork is just a little nicer. Next up is body versus body. Now on the Squire, we've got an alder body. On the Donner, we've got basswood. Now I threw both of them up on the scale. The Donner came in at a beautiful 6.8 pounds. Under seven pounds is fantastic. It's just great. Now the Affinity came in at seven. So we've got 7.0 versus 6.8, both extremely light. That's, as I said, absolutely fantastic. It just makes them more enjoyable to play in my opinion. Now, as for the rest of the body, well, they are so similar. You know, traditional block neck joint there. Um, the neck plates are slightly different. Uh, on the Donner, it says made in China. On the plate, it doesn't say anything on the back of the headstock. And on the Squire, it just says Squire, but very similar. Contours are identical. You know, comfort cuts are identical. They feel very similar, I gotta say. Now, the one thing about the Affinity series is they're not full width bodies, which again can ca account for the lightness of the body. So when we take a close-up look of, you know, the Donner next to the Affinity, you can see the Donner is actually a full width or full thickness body and the Squire is not. So points in this one go to Donner. Uh, it's a little bit lighter and it's a full thickness body. Both of them really nice to play, but points go to Donner. Next up, let's talk about trem system versus trem system. Now, the first thing I gotta say and get right out of the way is they're both pretty bad. I just gotta say that if you want either guitar to hold tune and be able to use the trem system, it's gonna take a lot of work. So I think a lot of beginners just simply don't use the bar and that's maybe, <laughs> maybe a good option here. Uh, but let's take a closer look. Now, both trem systems are six screw, kind of vintage style. Um, both have, uh, you know, sort of block-ish saddles. They're sort of a hybrid between the bent steel ones and the blocks. Uh, they're okay. The ones on the Donner are thicker than the ones on, you know, uh, the Squire. So that's maybe a point for Donner. Uh, but at the same point, uh, the whole trem plate is thicker on the Affinity than it is on Donner. So it's kind of like one point and one point. So I'm going to call this one a draw. Both of them are okay-ish, but as I mentioned, you're going to have to use a lot of work to keep them in tune. So, you know, not great trem systems, both kind of equally, you know, good or bad. So this one's a draw. Next up is electronics versus electronics. Now, on the Squire, we've got ceramic-based pickups, one volume, two tones, and a five-way switch. Pots are small dime-sized pots. Switch is pretty cheap feeling and wiring is very basic. So I would say, again, this is an area where, you know, budget guitars kind of show themselves. Uh, the electronics, very basic, pretty cheap. Now, on the Donner, we've got ceramic-based pickups, small dime-sized pots, and a very cheap feeling five-way switch. So both guitars, you know, ceramic pickups, small pots, cheap switches, and very basic wiring. Uh, pickups on both are, are fairly noisy, as you'll hear in the tone comparison. So this one is a draw. Next, let's talk about what accessories come with each guitar. Now, when you buy a Squire, what you get is a Squire guitar. That's it. No case, no accessories, and nothing. Now, when you buy the Donner, it's a completely different story. 
not only do you get a gig bag, well, inside that gig bag is a cable, a tuner, a strap, strings, capo. <laughs> There's more stuff in here. Picks, tools, uh, bar, and that's about it. Oh no, there, it also comes with the mini amp. I've never tried this, but it also literally comes with like a little pedal size pedal sized amp there's so many accessories with this now are they all you know top quality certainly not but man is it nice to come with a strap a cable a tuner a capo you know just the basics of playing a guitar so this one handily blows the squire away points go to donner Well, let's plug these guitars in and see how they sound. We're going to do neck versus neck, you know, position four versus position four and so on. Should be pretty good. Let's take a listen. And our final comparison is a big one, and it's price, especially in the entry-level guitar market. Price matters. So the Donner is 167. Uh, that's U.S. dollars. So if you're in Canada here, you're gonna have to add, you know, an extra 50, 60 bucks, unfortunately. And the Affinity is 220 U.S. So same situation. You're gonna have to pitch in, you know, 50, 60 bucks if you're in Canada. So that's it. 167 versus 220. So again, handily goes to Donner. So here are my final thoughts on Squire versus Donner. Now, surprisingly, Donner swept nearly every category with either a win or a tie. Squire won the headstock by virtue of its better tuning machines. Now, whether you like the tone of one or the other might influence which one you buy, and they do feel slightly different to play. The Donner has a flatter fingerboard radius, and the Squire feels like a fender to play with a nine and a half inch fingerboard radius. So they do feel slightly different to play, but my goodness, these guitars are very, very similar. So it's really up to you whether you wanna spend the extra 30, 40, 50, 40 to 50 bucks on the Squire Affinity over the Donner. That's really up to you. And that really comes down to if you want that classic Fender look, um, the, the headstock, uh, the feel of it, all of it really does feel like, um, you know, a Stratocaster, which is what it is. So if you want, you know, the classic Strat, um, you know, feel. The, the tone is still a little bit thicker because of the ceramic pickups on them. Uh, I do got to say that the Affinity series has been updated by Squire, which is pretty cool. So they still have the basic $220 one, but they actually have one uh, that's for $299. It has a two-point tram, lots of updated features, even some with like flame maple veneers. So I got to hand it to Squire. They're always, you know, improving their instruments. Uh, so if you want sort of like that classic Fender, you know, 
feel, uh, go with the Affinity if you don't care and price is paramount and accessories is paramount and build quality is pretty much similar, then definitely go with the Donner. The Donner offers just so much more value. So there you go. They're both set up and play about the same as well. So, you know, overall, very, very comparable instruments, whether you want to kick in the extra bucks for like the, the Fender Strat kind of feel, or if you want to, you know, kind of get a great guitar for lower price, go with the Donner. Those are my final thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We got lots of great videos lined up for you guys. Uh, tab store, t-shirt store, gear I use, all that information is down in the video description below. You can check it out there. Other than that, have yourself a great day.